Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got something pretty cool. Federal Fusion Tip, their 180 grain load and 300 Winchester Magnum. Not only is it a highly sought after load, but this is the first 300 Winchester Magnum load we've done on this channel. And here's your box for that Federal Fusion Tip 300 Win Mag load, 180 grain, white-tailed deer icon. This might be a bit much for your standard white-tailed deer, but I'm sure it'll get the job done. Uh, here's your promo info for the Fusion Tipped Bullet. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Basically, it's saying it's the same thing as the standard or, you know, original Fusion. It's just more aerodynamic with that polymer tip. Coming on down, you can stop, pause, and read that if you would like as well. Coming over to the left, we've got our ballistics chart velocity is stated at 2950 feet per second we'll see how close we get to that let's go ahead and open the stuff up and take a look comes in your standard federal plastic ammo holders it's got the blue sealant on the primers always a nice touch like that from federal let's pull one out and there it is something i do want to point out it looks like see if i can get the camera to focus and this is the same for the 270 and 7 millimeter magnum versions as well that i've tested it looks like the bullet is really set deep in the case it starts to taper immediately out of the case mouth probably because and this is just you know me thinking here the bullet is probably rather long with that orange polymer tip so they've got to set the bullet deeper in the case I'm not 100 percent sure about that just an observation. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Hunter, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, of course. It's got a 24 inch barrel and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And we've got 300 wins stamped right in to let everybody know the hammer is about to fall. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last you a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my Black Bear design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that heavyweight Federal Fusion tipped 180 grain load out of the 300 Win Mag, minimum 2819, maximum 2857 for an average of 2835. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Federal Fusion tipped out of the 300 Win Mag, and we did capture all three bullets. We got two right there, and then one down there in the bottom of this block. It went a little bit further. Rather shallow penetration for 300 Win Mag. Now, this is the first 300 Winchester Magnum load I have tested, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of penetration we tend to get on average for ammo that is like this. But I was expecting a little more penetration, but what we got was massive expansion and a massive energy dump. So I can't say I'm disappointed. And we'll look at the wound tracks first before we look at penetration. We have rapid, nearly immediate expansion coming on back, it tapers off. I'm gonna say right here, it kind of starts to taper off quite a bit at about the 10 inch mark. Then they keep on penetrating back and this stuff just flings the blocks around. Nice wound cavities from about the one inch mark to really the seven to eight inch mark is your main wound channel. And penetration wise, let's go ahead and take a look. Our shallowest bullet right there is at about, oh, it's kissing 20 inches. We'll give it 20. This one is at about, we'll give that one 20 and a half. And then this one that's way down here in the bottom of this block is at about 25 inches of penetration. So let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. 
All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. The 180 grain Federal Fusion tipped in 300 Winchester Magnum weight retention. We saw 158, 160, and 166 grains for an average of 161 grains retained weight. That works out to 90% weight retention, which is about on par with the other two Federal Fusion tipped loads I've tested so far, the 270 Winchester and 7 Mag. Go watch those videos if you haven't. Seems like the these Federal Fusion tipped loads, the bullets, they do shed a little bit more weight than the traditional Federal Fusion bullets. And I'm aware that, you know, some small percentage of that is the plastic tip but they're still holding together way better than your standard cup and core bullets and delivering absolutely ludicrous expansion, which we're gonna talk about now. Expansion wise, we saw 0 0.83, 0 0.97 and one inch one inch for one of these bullets, absolutely insane, which works out to an average of 0.93 inches expanded diameter. That is 3X expansion. So far in all of the ammo tests that I've done, I've only had one other load hit 3X expansion and that was the Federal Fusion tip from 270 Winchester. The 7 Mag hit 2.9X, this one's 3X. So these Federal Fusion tipped bullets just freaking I mean, I'm speechless with how much they expand. It's incredible. And it's a very, very good sign for their intended purpose, which is a little bit longer range hunting. Because if we're getting performance like this at 100 yards, I can only imagine what it would be at two, three, four, or 500 yards. It's probably really nice. It's gonna give you the performance that you want at those extended ranges, at least I would think. And on to velocity, our high velocity was 28.57. Our low was 28.20 for an average of 28.35 versus the factory build velocity of 2950. So we did come in 115 feet per second slow, which is a bit slower than I would like to see, but it is what it is. And I've tested quite a few 300 Winchester Magnum loads. The videos aren't released to the public yet. If you want access to them, join as a Range Boss channel member. They're already uploaded and scheduled, but I can say that it's not like I have a you know slow barrel or anything like that because other loads didn't come in this much slower. It's just, it is what it is. In fact, I had several 300 Winchester Magnum loads come in above box spec out of this same rifle. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards is 2,654 feet per second. And onto penetration, and this is something that I've harped on in my other two Federal Fusion tipped videos I've done so far. I cannot believe we get over 20 inches of penetration with how much these bullets expand. It's absolutely incredible. We saw 20 inches, 20 and a half inches and 25 inches of penetration for an average of about 22 inches of penetration. And considering that these bullets are nearly an inch across, that is really good. And I think points to this being an excellent longer range option, because if we're getting 20 plus inches of penetration at 100 yards and 3X expansion, I can only imagine they're gonna do just as good or better you know, arguably at longer distance. You're probably gonna see a bit less expansion, which is totally okay because they're absolutely massive, but you're probably gonna get even more penetration or at least stay in this range. And kinetic energy wise with 180 grain bullet going on average 2,835 feet per second, we're looking at 3,212 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,815 foot pounds down there at 100 yards, which is kind of in the standard range for a lot of your 300 Win Mag hunting ammo using realistic velocities. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this 180 grain Federal Fusion tipped load and 300 Win Mag. I am absolutely floored by the performance of this ammo, not only in 300 Winchester Magnum, but the other two calibers I've tested it in so far, and I'm gonna do the rest of them as soon as I can get a hold of them. The stuff is kinda hard to get. But we saw good weight retention 90%. I wish we would see a little bit more, but with the absolutely ludicrous expansion we're getting, it's not surprising and I'm okay with it. 3X expansion, I mean, need I say more, that's wild penetration in the 20 to 25 inch range. That's what you want to see for medium game hunting. And keep in mind, this ammo is marketed sort of for longer range hunting. That's what it says on the box at least. Let me pull out the box real quick and read it to you. Take performance farther 
keyword farther with Fusion Tipped. It offers the same molecularly bonded construction and terminal performance as original Fusion, but with a polymer tip that increases ballistic coefficient, flattens trajectories, and boosts energy for better, ac for better accuracy and extended effective range. So Federal is saying they've taken their Fusion bullet and tried to optimize it for longer range performance, and I think they've done just that. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't hesitate to use this stuff, especially if I was hunting at a little bit extended distances. I wouldn't hesitate to use the stuff if I was hunting at, you know, 100 yards and in either. I mean, we're still getting plenty of penetration. So all in all, I am extremely pleased with the performance of this ammo. I can't wait to test the rest of the Federal Fusion tipped lineup. I mean, when you get a winner, you get a winner. And Federal just, just keeps, I mean, they just keep on delivering the goods. The Fusion line, the Federal Fusion tipped line now, the Terminal Ascent line, I mean, they just do what they're supposed to. They do what they say they're going to do, which is more than can be said for some other ammo. So I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this new Federal Fusion tipped line in 300 Win Mag and other calibers? What calibers do you want to see it in? Personally, I would love to see a 243 Winchester Federal Fusion tipped load. I don't think that's in their lineup so far. I could be wrong. 25 out 6 would be awesome. Let me and everyone else know down in the comments what you would use this stuff or would you pick something else? Are you gonna start using this over something you've used so far? Let us know. And check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.